Okay, time for a quick analysis session. This shouldn't take long, but hopefully turns on the light bulb in your head. Ready? Here we go. It's pretty obvious we have a lot of social problems in the world. The questions asked, however, regarding how to solve those issues are nearly always the wrong questions. So, let's take a look at this and see if you notice a pattern. Here is a simple chart. We'll list the social problem and then go through the questions. First, let's take a look at world hunger. Please keep in mind that the United States is part of the world and we have hunger issues as well. In fact, we have all of the issues I'm going to list. Nothing drives me more crazy than when people shout, what about American problems? As if we're not all interconnected these days. We don't live in a bubble anymore, people. Wake up. Anyway, do we have the technology to solve world hunger? Yes. My video, Our Technical Reality, showcases this. Do we have the human resources to implement the systems? Yes. Do we have the material resources to manufacture the systems? Yes. Do we have the money to implement the systems? No. World disease. Do we have the technology to combat this? Yes. Human resources? Yes. Material resources? Yes. Money? No. World substandard living conditions. Do we have the technology to fix this? Yes. One amazing method is called contour crafting, and you can search for that yourself on YouTube. Do we have the human resources? Yes. Do we have the material resources? Yes. Do we have the money? No. I guess I could add inadequate education to the list. After all, poverty of the mind leads to poverty of the body. Poverty in general is a nasty mix of several social problems, but food, disease, housing, and education are the primary drivers that are most cited in news and scientific studies. So, on to the questions. Do we have the tech to raise the education levels around the world? Yes. Human resources? Yes. Material resources? Yes. Money? No. Global energy shortages. Do we have the technology? Yes. Human and material resources? Yes and yes. Money? No. The energy issue is also covered very nicely in our technical reality. The first 20 minutes alone is all about clean energy technology. You know what? I'm starting to notice a trend here. Uh, anyway, let's continue. Global environmental damage. Let's just speed things up, shall we? Three yeses and a no. Crime. Now, I've created a few subcategories for this just for the sake of being a little more precise. Like theft. This is from petty larceny to banking fraud, which is really just white-collar theft. Physical abuse. That's pretty straightforward, including rape, beatings, etc. Murder and drugs, not just possession, but also sale. You could go deeper, but I don't want to go that far. So, in one simple stroke... You see, if you fix all of the above social problems, you'll end up fixing many of the crime problems by default. If you better one's living environment, you better the person. Spread that over groups of people, and you'll see values and behaviors change for the better. Oh, proof of that statement is also on my YouTube channel, in the Social Sciences Relevant to TVP playlist. There are several videos in this playlist. The best of the lot, at least in my opinion, is called Nature or Nurture. How do genes, environment, and free will affect human behavior? Sorry to make you have to go verify my statements by watching other informative videos from knowledgeable sources. I know that's a pain sometimes, but hey, it's not wise to just take someone's word for it if they can't provide justification of their statements. So let's recap. Do we have the technical, mental, and physical capability to fix all of these social problems right now, this instant? Yes. Do we have the money to do any of it? No. It should disturb you, a lot, that our current system quite literally prevents us from actually doing anything of real consequence, especially since that system is man-made. You know, if we made it up, we can also get rid of it. I'm just saying something you should think about.